Have you ever wondered why people running the 400 meter race don't start off side by side? Instead, they are placed one ahead of the other starting from the person in the innermost lane. It's math! There are eight lanes on a track. The innermost lane is lane one and the outermost lane is lane eight. Only lane one is 400 meters long. Each lane after that is a few meters longer, with lane 8 measuring about 450 meters. If you are running in the innermost lane, you are running a far shorter distance compared to someone running in the outermost lane. So, it wouldn't be fair if they both started out at the same place. That's why the runners are given staggered starting points to make sure everyone runs the same distance. But even though the distance is the same, some lanes are considered better than others. Lane 1 has the greatest curve compared to the outer lane. Not only is the curve the greatest, lane 1 also curves for the greatest distance. Given the size of a standard track, someone running on lane 1 will be running on a curve 60% of the time. Since it is easier to run straight than round a curve, the curve in lane 1 can slow runners down, so lane 1's no good. In lane 8, it is hard for the runner to see his competitors because from the corner of his eyes, he can only see the runner immediately next to him and not much more. This makes it harder to see how much faster or slower he is compared to the others. Given this, the center lanes, lanes 4 and 5, are the best. The curves are not so great and runners can see the competitors from the corner of their eyes on either sides. That is why runners with the best qualifying times are given lanes 4 and 5 in a race. Knowing your math helps you understand your running positions and the advantages some lanes have over others. It may not guarantee a win, but it can help make you that much faster because math really does make every little bit count.